Kushinagar is one of the four most important Buddhist pilgrimage sites. It was earlier called Kushinara and was the capital of the Malla kingdom. It is the place where Buddha attained Parinibban at the age of 80. Buddha passed away on the full moon day of Vaisak month near the river Hiranyavati. He was lying on his right side between two sal trees with his head facing north when he was taking his last breath. The ruler of Kushinagar arranged for the cremation and the last rites were carried out in accordance with the honor of a Chakravarti or the universal king. Buddha was cremated at the shrine of Mallas now called Ramabhar Stupa which was originally called Mukut Bandhana Chaitya. After his cremation the relics were divided into eight equal parts and given to eight different clans who were in attendance to take their share. These relics were kept in eight relic stupas in different parts of the country. Kushinagar is one of the four major sites of Buddhist pilgrimage and has several important Buddhist sites. The first on the list is Mahaparinibbana Temple. The present temple at Kushinagar was built in 1956 by the government of India to mark the 2500 years of Parinibbana Buddha. The famous Nirvana Buddha statue is placed inside the Mahaparinibbana temple. This 5th century statue is 6.1 meters long and rests on a couch. The remains of Buddhist monasteries built from the 1st century AD to the 10th century AD could be seen around the temple. Mahaparinibbana Stupa is second on the list. The Mahaparinibbana Stupa stands immediately behind the Mahaparinibbana temple. This 40 feet high stupa was built by the Mauryan emperor Ashoka in the 3rd century BC. It was renovated in the early 20th century. Originally the height of this stupa was 200 feet and it enshrines the body relics of Buddha. Immediately behind the Mahaparinibbana stupa is the Anuruddha stupa where Anuruddha, one of the prime disciples and cousin of Buddha was cremated. Anuruddha was the person who declared the death of Buddha. Cremation stupa is third on the list. On the 7th day after Buddha's death, his body was carried for the cremation to the place where the Malla kings used to be crowned. The cremation stupa was built by the Mallas sometime after cremation, which was later renovated by King Ashoka in the 3rd century BC and again in the 5th century AD by the Gupta king Kumar Gupta. The stupa was originally called Mukut Bandhana Chaitya and is now known as Ramabhar Stupa. The remains of an ancient Mukut Bandhana monastery can be seen scattered around the cremation stupa. Pawa is fourth on the list and this was a city of Mallas in ancient India. Buddha visited this place during his last journey while traveling from Bhogagama to Kushinagar. Here he stayed at Smith Kunda's mango grove and this was the place where Buddha took his last meal. It is located around 15 kilometers east of Kushinagar. Today, Pawa is known as Padrona. The shrine of Mathakur is fifth on the list of Buddhist places in Kushinagar. The Mathakur shrine is located around 400 meters southwest of the Mahaparinibbana temple. Mathakur means the dead prince, which refers to the death of Buddha who was a Sakyan prince. This shrine houses a 10.5 feet tall statue of Buddha in earth-touching posture. This 10th century statue was carved out of a single piece of blue stone from the Gaya region. Buddha took a brief rest at this site before leaving for the Upavattana Sala Grove where he attained Parinibbana. Remains of an ancient monastery can be seen around the main temple which was built in 1927 by Yu Chandramani a prominent monk from Myanmar. Kushinagar is one of the centers of pilgrimage mentioned by Buddha himself and therefore it attracts thousands of followers every year from the different parts of the world. Several countries have established Buddhist monasteries in Kushinagar. The major Buddhist monasteries and temples situated in Kushinagar include the Myanmar monastery, the Japan temple, the Tibetan temple and the Sri Lanka temple. If you found value in this video please give it a thumbs up if the information provided by the video was useful please subscribe to the channel for similar videos on buddhism we are constantly coming out 
with new videos on the life of Buddha and Buddhist heritage.